Vaikra, Leviticus 11. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and to El Ahran, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever parts the hoof and is cloven-footed and chews the cud, among the beasts that shall ye eat. Nevertheless, these at shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divide the hoof as at the camel, because he chews the cud, but divides not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. And at the coney, because he chews the cud, but divides not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. And at the hare, because he chews the cud, but divides not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. And at the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he choose not the cud, he is unclean unto you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. These at shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have at their carcasses in abomination. Whatsoever has no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. And these at are they which ye shall have in abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. At the eagle and at the ossifrage, and at the osprey, and at the vulture, and at the kite after his kind, at every raven after his kind, and at the owl, and at the night hawk, and at the cuckoo, and at the hawk after his kind, and at the little owl, and at the cormorant, and at the great owl, and the at swan, and at the pelican, and the at gear eagle, and the at stork, the heron after her kind, and at the lapwing, and at the bat. All fowls that creep, going upon all four, shall be an abomination unto you. Yet these at may ye eat of every flying, creeping thing that goes upon all four, which have legs above their feet, to leap with all upon the earth. At even these of them ye may eat, at the locust after his kind, and at the bald locust after his kind, and at the beetle after his kind, and at the grasshopper after his kind. But all other flying, creeping things which have four feet shall be an abomination unto you. And for these ye shall be unclean. Whosoever touches the carcass of them shall be unclean until the evening. And whosoever bears aught of the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. The carcasses of every beast which divides the hoof, and is not cloven-footed, nor chews the cud, are unclean unto you. 
Everyone that touches them shall be unclean. And whatsoever goes upon his paws, among all manner of beasts that go on all four, those are unclean unto you. Whoso touches their carcass shall be unclean until the evening. And he that bears at the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. They are unclean unto you. These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep upon the earth, the weasel and the mouse and the tortoise after his kind and the ferret and the chameleon and the lizard and the snail and the mole. These are unclean to you among all that creep. Whosoever touches them when they be dead shall be unclean until the evening. And upon whatsoever any of them, when they are dead, does fall, it shall be unclean. Whether it be any vessel of wood, or raiment, or skin, or sack, whatsoever vessel it be, wherein any work is done, it must be put into water, and it shall be unclean until the evening. So it shall be cleansed. And every earthen vessel, whereunto, rather, whereinto, any of them falls, whatsoever is in it shall be unclean, and ye shall break it. Of all meat which may be eaten, that on which such water comes shall be unclean, and all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean, and everything whereupon any part of their carcass falls shall be unclean. Whether it be oven or ranges for pots, they shall be broken down, for they are unclean and shall be unclean unto you. Nevertheless, a fountain or pit wherein there is plenty of water shall be unclean, but that which touches their carcass shall be unclean. Rather, wherein there is plenty, nevertheless, back to 36, nevertheless, a fountain or pit wherein there is plenty of water, shall be clean. But that which touches their carcass shall be unclean. And if any of their carcass fall upon any sowing seed which is to be sown, it shall be clean. But if any water be put upon the seed, and any part of their carcass fall thereon, it shall be unclean unto you. And if any beast of which ye may eat die, he that touches the carcass thereof shall be unclean until the evening. And he that eats of the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. He also that bears at the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. And every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth shall be an abomination. It shall not be eaten. Whatsoever goes upon the belly, and whatsoever goes upon all four, or whatsoever has more feet among all creeping things that creep upon the earth, them ye shall not eat, for they are an abomination. Ye shall not make at yourselves abominable with any creeping thing that creeps. Neither shall ye make yourselves unclean with them, that ye should be defiled thereby. For I am Yahuwah Elohechem. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye defile at yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. For I am Yahuwah that brings you up out of the land of Mitzrayim, to be your Elohim. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the Torah of the beasts, and of the fowl, and of every living creature that moves in the waters, and of every creature that creeps upon the earth, to make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beasts that may be eaten and the beasts that may not be eaten.